Hey there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now I've just been recording some lessons for my new SharePoint document management course. If you haven't seen it, head over to sharepointdocumentmanagement.com uh, and you can find out all about that. Uh, so I've got a number of lessons that I've just recorded and published. Now, as I was doing that, uh, there's a couple of features that I wanted to share with you today um, that might be uh, a little bit hidden in your SharePoint document libraries. Now, that is the ability to, well, first of all, the ability to customize the header, uh, body, and footer of the forms of uh, the when you're in the properties of documents. Um, we can customize the form uh, and also do some conditional logic to show and hide columns based on values of other columns. All right. So before we get stuck into it, though, um, we're going to have a look at showing or hiding columns um, based on values in another column first. Okay. Now there are a few little caveats for um, that we need to be aware of first. All right. So in regards to the types of columns that we can use. So there are a few unsupported column types in our conditional formulas when we're using these formulas. So the unsupported ones are person or group is the first one. We've got a choice with um, multiple selections is another one. So they're unsupported. Uh, look up. So look up with, again, with multiple selections is unsupported. We've got time calculations, which is unsupported. We'll just put time calcs. We've got a uh, currency column. We've got location column. We've got calculated column and managed metadata columns are all unsupported. Okay. So just a few little things there before we go and have a look at how we actually do it. So if we go into a document library, like we are here, and I go into, I select a document, I can click my three little dots and I'm going to uh, go to properties, all right? So inside of our properties, and here is our document form, inside of our properties here, if I click this little icon in the top right-hand corner, I can con edit columns and I can configure a layout. Now I'm going to edit columns first and you can see that I've got these options here. I can actually show or hide or turn columns on or off. But what if we wanted to show a column based on the value or show or hide columns based on the value of another column? So let's say we've got category. So you can see on here, I've got category of ethics. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to say on my subcategory column, I'm going to edit this conditional formula and I'm gonna paste this in. So if category equals, let's say ethics, true, false. So if it's true, it's gonna show, if it's false, it's gonna hide. And we'll hit save. Now you can see that the subcategory is kind of grayed out here because we've got this conditional uh, logic. So let's give this a test. So if I hit save, I can see my subcategory sub of DDO. Now, if I change this to advice process, you'll notice that that subcategory field disappears. Let's change that back to ethics, and you can see I've got that subcategory, all right? So we can do some conditional formulas uh, to show or hide our columns. So let's now see what we can do in terms of customizing or formatting the header, uh, body and footer, all right? So again, I'm going to go back into the properties and the other option we've got here, uh, just underneath edit columns is configuring the layout. Now we do have to write some JSON code here to implement this and to get uh, some customization here, all right? But I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Well, not cheat a little bit, but just do, be a, work a little bit smarter here. So I'm going to use Copilot and I'm going to say, can you write me some JSON uh, for the modern custom header, for the, um, for the form header of a SharePoint document library? Use Copilot, use the Copilot brand 
for inspiration and I want the document title uh, displayed in the header, all right? And what we will get, hopefully, is Copilot's gonna write some JSON code for me, all right? And I've used just some natural language and we're going to get some code written for me that I can just copy and paste into that box there. So if I minimize this, we can see here that I've got the formatting code there. I've got the apply where I'm applying that formatting to. All right, um, be, there's three different options. There's header, there's body, and there's footer as well. So we'll just use the header at the moment. So we can see here, it's just gonna write out this JSON code for me. All right, so we've got a div, we've got some padding, we've got some background colors, um, and that is continually writing. So that's good, a little bit slow, but that is all good. Um, and we'll just continue on as it goes. And once that's done, we'll just copy and paste that into my uh, my uh, my formatting box there, all right? So there we go, that is now been done. I'm going to copy that code, all the codes being copied. We'll paste that into there. Now we can preview it. So let's give it a preview. You can see that we've got that, um, that there as well, all right? But I don't want this Copilot document as in the header, all right? All I want is, to display the document title. So what I'm gonna do, and this is a good um, uh, a good example of conversing with your AI. Can you please remove this from the formatting, please? And we will ask Copilot to do that. So we're going backwards and forwards here. All right, so rather than just doing a one-shot prompt, what we're doing is we're just going backwards and forwards. So now I'm gonna get another um, another output and we're just iterating on this header. So let's have a look and see what happens here. And we've got that, got the document title, which is good. Let's copy that and let's paste, we'll go, we'll go and we'll paste that in there. Let's preview and now we've got our document title. All right, so we'll save that and let's have a look. We'll say this is the title and let's have a look and see what happens. And you can see that that dynamically changes the title of that section of the uh, up in the header as well. So if we go back into, let's go and have a look at advice documentation. Let's go to the properties of that. So we'll go properties and you can see I don't have a title, right? So let's say, let's just go copy and we'll pop that in there, we'll hit enter, and there's the title of that document, all right? So just a couple of little things there uh, that I thought would bring you some value, kind of hidden away a little bit in the properties of, uh, in the properties form. We can do some conditional um, showing and hiding of columns, but also formatting header, um, the header, the body, and the footer of the form as well. So I hope that brings you some value. Now, if you do wanna take a look at the uh, the SharePoint document management course, or not course, but it's a masterclass that did turn into uh, a number of lessons. Head over to sharepointdocumentmanagement.com. Couple of different options for you there. You can uh, access on demand, or I can um, do this for your team and your organization. You jump on a Teams call, or if you're in Australia, we can do this in person uh, as well. Um, and there's that option there too, okay? Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.